Throw the baby out with the bathwater to supersize your business. Sharon Hornell from here. Of course, I would never throw a baby, and I would definitely not throw a baby out with the bathwater. But this idiom is got really interesting possibilities when we think about it with respect to our businesses and how we want to grow and build and supersize our businesses. To throw the baby out with the bathwater. This is an idiom that comes from an old German proverb. Uh, and in, gosh, like 1512, Thomas, what was his name? Thomas Marner, Thomas Marner wrote a story, an old German fable called Narin or something, but it means to appeal to fools. And in that story, they actually had an illustration of a woman tossing a baby out with the bathwater in a tub of bathwater. You can look it up online. It's pretty funny. It's not really funny, right? It's not funny. No babies were harmed in the making of this video. It's not really funny, but it does teach us that sometimes we're, when we're not paying attention or when we're carried away or when we're busy or when we're under a lot of pressure and stress, we might get rid of something or make decisions that are not in our long-term best interest. Or we might actually toss out or get rid of or throw away something that we think is useless at the time, but it turns out that it's really, really useful. Have you ever decided not to follow an opportunity for your business or not do business with a another um, vendor or partner or supplier or customer only to find out later on that they had gone to your nearest competitor and they ended up being the number one customer or supplier for that particular competitor have you ever um, gotten rid of a, a tool or a, a a report or paper or a resource only to find out that you had to go out and rebuy that resource again like if you threw out a magnifying glass heaven forbid i don't know why anyone would ever throw out a magnifying glass but say i threw out a magnifying glass or lost i, I threw it out on purpose as i was getting rid of junk and, and simplifying only to find out that the next day i'd have to go out and buy another magnifying glass i haven't actually done that with magnifying glasses but i've done it with a lot of things especially in the last year or so i i downsized and i set a, an objective that i was going to get rid of 90 percent of the physical things and clutter in my life. Obviously, I got rid of a lot of stuff, but I still have plenty of clutter and things left behind. However, some of the things that I got rid of, or and, and I, I get rid of, sometimes we're tempted to just throw things in the trash. I think there's savers and there's throwers in the world. And, and I, I only say that because I was married to a tosser and I'm obviously a saver. And sometimes he would throw things out or give things to charity that I was not happy with. I mean. One of our biggest fights ever, I remember, was the first time he took a bunch of my things to Goodwill that were in a storage room that I hadn't used for several years. He, he was right. I hadn't used them for several years. But it was because I was too busy raising our kids and starting businesses to actually use the things that were there. But I didn't want to get rid of them. And I certainly didn't want to have them taken to Goodwill. So sometimes we get rid of things that we think are useless or we don't realize that we're getting rid of something that is actually really useful and of value to us because it's mixed in with the other things. We do that in our businesses, we do that in our lives. The other way this uh, particular idiom, and the other thing it reminds me of in businesses that I've personally experienced a lot is where there's a problem in a very small fraction of the business, either a, a resource problem or a quality problem, or usually it's a human problem where this occurs. Uh, think of the rules we make in our organization. Do we make rules because everybody's breaking them or we want to make sure nobody breaks them or do we we create rules and systems and processes and procedures because one or two people really are are causing trouble or having a problem or uh, not following and, and in line with what everybody else is doing and is expected in that particular situation in our business so i i remember in one particular company we had a problem where people wanted to work half an hour and then then take half an hour off our team sizes were the wrong size and so instead of addressing the people that were abusing that system and created this half hour on half hour off the company decided we were going to change our operating system change our hours change our team sizes change everything put in all these complicated structures and rules and systems instead of addressing the core problem of hey you come to work we're paying you for eight hours a day you get these breaks we don't structure so that Half an hour you're on the floor, half an hour you're off. You know, we're not paying you to work four hours a day. But instead of dealing with that head on and, and solving that problem and treating people like adults, they created this entire 
very miserable system that took years to implement that didn't really give us the results that we wanted instead of dealing with the problem head on. And we see this all the time in society, right? This whole call for eliminating the police because there's some bad policeman. Guess what? There is bad and good in everything. Statistically, there's bound to be. So we don't create rules and throw out entire systems because somebody is a problem or a challenge. We address that problem. We address that situation and isolate that instead of creating a, a problem for everybody. We solve the problem where it is. We don't throw out the baby with the bathwater. We don't destroy the whole system because we're blaming the system as being broken when it isn't the system that's broken. It's a few individuals that have gotten into that system. Maybe we need a better way of filtering who gets in or who doesn't get into that system, not that the whole system needs to be blown up and thrown away. So we're seeing this in our lives a lot right now. Again, there's always a solution, right? But let's make sure that the solution fits the real situation, that we don't jump to conclusions and we don't make choices that are short-term when we're really going for long-term improvement and long-term growth and development in our business and in our organization. So that's my take on throw the baby out with the bathwater. Love to know your experience with this. Uh, I've got lots of personal and business experiences with this particular idiom or the meaning of the idiom where we actually get rid of something or we destroy something that was absolutely useful and we ended up needing it after the fact. I did that with a whole book. I, I wrote a book, threw it away because I didn't know it was my only copy when I was cleaning out papers and things when I left a job and lo and behold, I ended up throwing out the, the one original copy I had of that. That was before computers. So stuff like that happens all the time. All right, have an awesome day. I'll be with you tomorrow with another interesting idiom. What does it mean? Where does it come from? And how might you use it in your business or your life right now? Take care. Bye. See you tomorrow.